right now to new details about a woman who was stabbed to death outside a Coral Springs hospital. Uh, and today the medical center confirmed the victim worked there. Her estranged husband faced a judge today charged with her murder. Local 10's Amy Battieri live now with what came out of today's court hearing. Amy. Well, Philip Matthew is in jail where he will be held without bond. He is now also set to be undergoing a mental health screening at his attorney's request. Meanwhile, prosecutors say that his wife, Marin Joy, was afraid of him because he had threatened to kill her in the past. 34 year old Philip Matthew formally charged with first degree murder Wednesday, his arms wrapped in bandages from self inflicted knife wounds. According to prosecutors, Matthew had threatened to kill his wife, 26 year old Marin Joy, before. Subject approached the victim, she began yelling, he stabbed her. Left in a gray Hyundai southbound for 29th Street. It happened early Tuesday morning. Police say witnesses reported someone stabbed Joy several times in the parking lot of Broward Health Coral Springs, where she worked as a nurse. He stabbed her multiple times, and then after he stabbed her, leaving her body uh, on the ground, he then proceeded to run over the victim. Joy died from her injuries, but police found Matthew at a nearby hotel. After taking him to the hospital for the cuts on his arm, investigators say he told them he killed his wife because she was cheating on him. A depraved heart or a crime of passion and not premeditation, and therefore this is second degree, not first degree. Not a calculated crime, according to the public defender, despite the evidence against him. Deputies responded to a Home Depot location where they determined that Mr. Matthew had purchased a knife, a hammer, and other items prior to the incident. Your Honor, he drove to her location of her place of work and laid in wait for her to leave. This was not a random encounter. Broward Health Coral Springs released a statement saying they are heartbroken over this death. Meanwhile, according to prosecutors, Marin Joy was able to make a dying declaration telling investigators it was her husband who attacked her before she lost her life. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.